Kind of a light week this week. There's five Wednesdays this month, but there's some really good stuff coming out, and we have a sale this Saturday. <laughs> Saturday the 5th, we have a 25 cent back issue sale. It's not everything. There's going to be select stuff. It's going to be in here. It's going to be contained. Uh, it's going to be orderly, so none of your shenanigans. Savers can get in at 10 a.m. Everyone else can get in at 11. Um, so come early, get in line. You'll probably end up getting a ticket, and I'll have to call you to come in because we get a lot of people who want to participate in this. But come on down. It's going to be some great stuff in there. I'm only doing this because we need the last little bit of space in the back. We will never be doing this again i'm basically giving you these for free so take advantage of me on saturday and of the great deals so top uh you know what we usually do top three we're doing top five because i could not contain it this week jason aaron has two spots on the top five this week southern bastards is back we've been waiting a long time for this i'm excited to see what happens when she finally hits town and has to deal with the boss you know what we're just going to go to the second jason aaron unworthy thor uh during uh the last well, not the last one, because the last one was uh, Secret Wars, but original Sin, Thor lost the use of the hammer. Jane Foster is now Thor. Thor is now looking for the ultimate hammer to resume his role as Thor in the Unworthy Thor. We've also got Moon Girl. You guys will know Terry Moore from, or, um, sorry, a Motor Girl, Moon Girl. Uh, you guys will know Terry Moore from such things as Rachel Rising, Strangers in Paradise, Echo, all great books. This one was a lot of fun. It wasn't what I was expecting, just judging by the cover. Terry Moore really goes into depth with his characters, makes them feel real. The art for everyone is different. Highly recommend trying out the first one. I enjoyed it a lot. Champions, I love what they're doing over there. This is all the kids who are tired of the Civil Wars. They are going to go out and do some good on their own. This issue, Cyclops wants to join the team. And... Hawkman, I love the space epics. Uh, I love Adam Strange. You get Hawkman and Adam Strange in this issue. So, see a lot of books this week, even though I said it was a, show, a small one. Revolution is kicking into full gear. We got some John Byrne covers on there. Transformers joins the mix. Rom is, of course, part of it. Mask is out there with it. G.I. Joe. Eclipse, we just did a video interview with Zap Zach Kaplan last week. You guys can find it uh, on our YouTube channel. Find out about him, uh, what he's working on, how Eclipse came about, and just a little bit, of, uh, a little bit more about the industry behind the scenes. Bitch Planet's back. Kelly Sue finally got one out. Autumn Lands. I really enjoy the uh, young animals over here. Shade the Changing Girl. We got Doom Patrol. Cave Carson has a cybernetic eye. All of them have been great so far. It's kind of what Vertigo should be, but in the normal DC line. Justice League continues. Funky Green Lantern's color. Cover? Color? Of course it's color. Midnighter and Apollo got their own thing. My favorite cover of the week. Does that not look like Batman and Superman are going in for a kiss? If they don't in this issue, I'm going to be extremely upset. Batman, Harlequin, Death of X. Of course, we already know the end of Death of X. We know what has happened. This is a year in the past, but this is all gearing up to Inhumans versus the X-Men, where potentially the X-Men are getting, just getting the boot. And Earth's Mightiest replaces all new, same old thing with Wade writing it. This one has Kang as the bad guy. I'm really excited to read that one. Don't forget this Saturday, how could you? The 5th, 25 cents. If you're a Savings Club member, come down early. You get in an hour before everybody else. And Suicide Squad, Mystery Minis. Uh, you can get, there's a whole variety of people on here. I'm sure you guys have all seen the movie. I mean, all five of you in Sacramento that went to see this movie. Uh, I'm hoping for a shirtless Jared Leto. Let's see if that happens. Not the Joker version. I want the shirtless Jared Leto version. All right, come on. Uh, and I got uh, the Flintstones version of Harley Quinn. Doesn't that look like that? That's ridiculous. That's little, a cave woman yeah. address. Yeah. Um, all right, you guys. I'll see you in the show.